Hello fellow uh, Vinyl community and uh, YouTube viewers, um, this is um, uh, to a couple new record finds and I guess as I clean and go through my uh, Soul RV collection volume, I believe we're on three, just at random I'm cleaning them that were originally in order, have uh, Dennis Yost and the Classics 4 in the background. We'll get up to the album it's playing right now. Uh, found this yesterday at a house sale, even though a lot of them were kind of rained out. They still went and they had like stack maybe about 45, 50 albums. And I saw this. It's called On the Radio. It's like Donna Summer's Greatest Hits All and a nice two record set on Casablanca. I actually clean up. There's just fingerprints and scratches, but it's nice. This piece is interesting. Somewhere the Times. I actually was looking up this online. It doesn't have a bonus record in the front. Okay. Talk about what, what art. Look at that. <coughs> look at all that art there. It's really weird, but it's kind of cool. When I find out what the bonus record is, I will purchase it and put it in there to keep it original. It doesn't say on either side of the cover. All it says is attached below is the Times newest recording never before released. But it does not say what it is. So I'm going to have to find out originally what came in there. And it's, well, yeah, wow, yeah. And some beams of light's pretty scratchy, but sounds really very light that they're not deep. So those are two new record finds I have. So now I have two albums of them originally on park with this one and the second version of So in Love without the uh, palm trees in the background, just with them looking at their watch. But there we go. This I've actually had since the 90s. This is their greatest hits. It has a pretty neat gatefold of the roof inside. I was informed by looking at YouTube that Mr. Yost died, I think, uh, few, quite a few years ago already, so it's a shame to hear. Um, and of course, him being the lead singer of their group, but any time you hear any uh, town of people or people in general passing, especially uh, not even past their 60s, it's, it's just too young, but there he is. I believe that's Mr. Yost right there. Very interesting voice. And uh, very interesting looking uh, guy. Different looking too. Very, very uh, unique in every way. There's a group there. Honestly, I thought this gentleman was a lead vocalist. I guess the reason why I found my R&B, I consider a blue-eyed soul group. <laughs> now on this album, the, that black gentleman I believe who played sax, he's not on here yet. And this is, I think, their first album. I had cellophane on this, but some mold and mildew got in like here, so it got underneath the cellophane so to take it off. But it's in very nice shape. This, I believe this is their first album. It's just Classics 4 featuring Dennis Yost, without Dennis Yost name before it, and I believe this is Mr. Yost right here, and the other members of the band. Actually, he's like the closest to the camera, so it's an interesting cover. We are listening to their version. Their version of Mr. Blue right there, which is interesting. So we're listening to this right now. This I acquired probably about 10 years ago, 11, from a big collection by a nice family called the McKinney's. Pretty much gave me all these albums that they had, and CDs and other things over the years. They saw me at the first store buying records, so sometimes it pays off. <laughs> Um, Betty, um, let's try to get the show up. Betty Wright Live on Alston with no jacket. I've had this for years. Can't say where we played it, but I can put excerpts of this online if it's rare. And the interesting thing is, too, this is served by TK Productions on this Alston. When the Alston's from the late 60s and early 70s that I have, and her cleanup woman included, they were division Atlantic, so it must have changed. 
Bretton Wood Organ Bogum, classic, awesome album. Very interesting. Uh, great album. His voice is pretty unique, too. Very good album. Uh, this was an eBay item. I guess, I don't know if it's because. I apologize for this. Uh, there's a track listing. It's somewhat, somewhat of a scare sound, but I guess because him and Count Five are on the same label, they have his version. Their his version is psychotic reaction, which was big by the Count Five, which was on the same lab, uh, label, Double Shot. So it's in good shape, other than some writing on the label and the owner. This is an eBay item. Very nice. Had this since about 2005, I believe. So seven years. If I get rid of most of my collection, this would definitely be a keeper. Like the girl in the go-to boots and the skirt, skorts or whatever, and the glasses. With the blurb saying, "Stuck to the action jacket, give me last time." This is. Funny thing is, all the albums I have so far, uh, Stevie Wonder do not have any jackets. When I serendipitously, serendipitously find them, they don't have any jackets. Here's the um, original Tamla pressing copy of, uh, of Uptight by Mr. Stevie Wonder. The Globe's Tamla label. The other side of it. Can't say it really played that much. I had a copy of I Was Made a Lever on my record chain in the other room. It was pretty rough. But no cover. That's my shoes are. <laughs> okay. There's still Bill. Uh, Bill Withers, I believe, second now. Really nice of it in plastic. Huh. Nancy Wilson show. She got had the pleasure of seeing her in 2007. This has a gate pull to it too. I wiped this one off. This one had some mildew on it. I've uh, never stored them in a basement again, especially along the wall. It's a black and white gate pull. recording her. That's the one kaleidoscope, which is from 71, I believe. I looked it up. One I briefly used. Red cap label. Touch it today by Nancy Wilson, no jacket. I like her version of Call Me on side two, is really great. Flash Life. Some of her other albums here. Here's Bill Withers' first album. And I found out, you know what he's standing out in front of? A toilet seat making factory. That he was he was doing a very um uh interesting job before he uh, hit it big with and that's his that's where he's at, the toilet seat making factory is what I believe that's a picture of. There's a picture of him in the back. Great album. I have this on 8-track tape, too. And this is pretty good. In good shape here. My Sussex label. It's like pretty much like new. I haven't cleaned it. 
process of static. Beautiful shape. Awesome album. His first album. Uh, Nancy Wilson's very first album from uh, 1960. When I went to see her, I didn't get this till later. I think I got this from Woodland Flea Market. Young she is there. Uh, I actually got her to sign it for me. Um, I didn't take a picture of her signing it for me, but I could probably get a certificate with it. But yeah, she was very nice, very friendly lady. I saw her in 2007. I think she just turned 70. Best of Nancy Wilson. Nice sound there. Hollywood My Way. I was really amazed at the shape of this record. I forget where or when I got this. Beautiful shape. Somebody checked off, I guess, their favorites on the back. Of course, things showing all her other albums available. That's her second album here. First, second. I think it might be in order. Yeah, and somebody's artwork. Somebody drew that on this album. I have no idea. I almost forgot about that. <laughs> and whoever that guy is, Robert Frank, I guess that's who owned it. Coffee, a very white. Sings for someone you love on 20th Century. There and gone. Uh, there's something really weird about this album. I had it for years, but I never really thought of it. Um, that's pretty got a cool fucking cover there with some good art. Uh, but if you look, it's all white, okay? The bottom's uneven. You're better. The bottom's uneven. And there's some words there. I think it never changed my love, dear, the way I feel about you. Only if, you know, just has words in it. That's all blank on the back. It's really weird. It's like some kind of weird poster, but it wouldn't make sense. And then here's the inner picture, inner sleeve, the original, with uh, Mr. White there. Being, I know he died back in July of 03. So he's been gone over nine years already. Which is insane. I remember where I was working when I read it online at the time. Stone and Gone. This is a, this this album has a hit. Never gonna give you up. Which is not. Which is different from. Never never gonna give you up. Which is different from uh, the Jerry Butler song, of course. And last but not least, this camera keeps taking a turn on me. The wire. Love and Love Orca, Rhapsody of Light, arrangement featuring Love Stings. Interesting album. That's pretty fucking cool. So there you go. My records, uh, volume, my Soul Army collection for most part, and two new finds. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I'll leave the camera up here. Let's start holding them up here. Super Soldies. This is an online find. Like I said, I'm a big Patty Drew fan, and the Drew Bells or sister group. I have, I think, all four of their singles that are meant to exist that were ever released. I'll see on this, right here, Druvel's Tell Him. I think this is a Canadian pressing because down here, it says printed in Canada. But some of these takes, like, Send For Me, Nat King Cole, it's a different take from the regular capital hit take. So it's weird. But this is the only known... Um, I think I how I found it. Person knew their stuff. The only known existence of Tell Him by the Drew Bells, not Patty Drew, the Drew Bells in True Stereo. 
I don't know if it was uh, in, in, uh, rechanneled, but it sounds like it's in true stereo. Because everywhere else, it's on, only on a 45. But it's actually on an album in true stereo with her and her sister singing it. I, uh, we'll see if I know, so, yeah, if, the, if I get good audio equipment with this computer or whatever, I'll put it on. Or I'll burn it to a CD, see if I can put it on YouTube and share it with you guys. True stereo, Drew Bell's tell him. And also show how this is a different take of Sent For Me by Nat King Cole. It's a good album, though. Some stuff I never heard of before. Here, I'll show you the track here. Uh, uh, it's different. Seductive with a lady on the cover. I think it's a Canadian. Yes. Oh. So long. Have a great uh, last hour of your weekend. And I'll see you next time on the VC.